Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is kind of my first impression video of the Peekaboo Clearview Tote. Now, I technically kind of already have a couple of these, <clears throat> not this exact version, but the older version, well, not the older, older version. They've come out with a few of these already. Uh, I think I have the Gen 2 version, maybe Gen 3. Um, anyway, so I have the, I have two of them. I have one in Flamingo Blue, and that was the one that came in the uh, Mystery Box Summer 2021. And then the other one I have is um, the Wildflower Poppy uh, that came out when the other one came out, like that year, so 2021. So I have two of those. Um, I've been looking at them even when they came out as Gen 1, when they had the the really fun like citrus colors. They had the ocean dot and they had like an orange dot and a yellow dot, lime dot. I forget what other color they had. There was a pink dot as well. I was looking at them then. then back then they came with a little like a little zipper pouch. Um, I was looking at them then and I was like, what the heck am I going to do with a clear view bag? What am I going to do? I don't want see people to see the inside of my bag. What am I crazy? But I did really like them. I thought they were really pretty and I didn't get them. Uh, and then when I got one in my in my summer mystery box, I discovered how to use them and I used it all the time that year and the year after that. So now I'm obsessed with these. I actually love them. I use them for so many things. Um, and I just love that they're so easily wipeable. So these are the bags that uh, these are my go to bags for farmers markets. When I go grocery shopping, and I just want to pick up a few things. Uh, but I don't want to carry like, you know, anything really big and heavy. Um, like I said, farmers markets are great because if you're picking up things like, you know, like root vegetables, uh, uh, you know, spinach, anything that's wet, anything that might be covered in some dirt that you don't want to put in like even an eco shopper because then you got to wash it. Um, then it's clear. You see exactly what's in it. You can see whether it's being crushed or whether it's toppled over. Uh, and then you can just go in there and just wipe it down with a wet cloth. You can even take like like Windex to it, just a, like, like or a mild, mild cleaner if something gets like really weird and sticky. Um, like I have definitely, you know, had things like sweet things that where the icing has sort of squirted out of the box and now the bottom is all covered in icing so you know you just need a little bit more than just water sometimes so just having a little bit of an extra spray really really helps so I love this bag I will probably get more I will definitely get one of these at some point just waiting for a good sale um and I love the gingham I absolutely adore the gingham this is gonna be such a cute bag to carry around so um that being said uh $75 for me is a bit much uh I would I, I wish they would price it a little bit lower but I guess $75 and then just have a really really good sale and I'll be fine with that um so anyways it looks like they haven't really done much to the design except add the charm bar and I'm just seeing that here right there there's a little charm bar which you know what it's really, really blends in quite nicely there. So if you're not a big fan of it, it's not going to get in your way. It's not going to stick out like a sore thumb, like some of the bags where the, the, the char bar really stands out. So it kind of ruins the bag. Um, it doesn't ruin the bag here at all. And it does give you a little extra spot to carry like you're like just throw your sunglasses and clip them over top or if you want to hang um like another uh you know a little bag with little bags in it uh when you're going shopping there are a whole bunch of things that you actually can do with that um they now make them kind of rubbery uh they're not with just like the vegan leather anymore they actually make them a little bit more rubbery so whatever you put there is less likely to fall off so i would now feel much more comfortable putting my sunglasses over top of that um or hanging something like in that little thing because it just is just a bit more grippy so the chances of it you know, completely falling off are a little bit slimmer and of course obviously you can put your charms on there as well um which I don't think I would do because I just feel like somehow these things are gonna pop off and I'm gonna lose and I'll cry um so anyways and I also just love these I love them as is I don't think you should mess with it I think it's really quite cute um okay so you can see the interior there so they've kind of kept the the interior plain which is actually fine you know you don't really see much of it because it's just on the bottom anyway so let's Let's just click through these photos real quick. So this is the gingham berry, which is so cute. And I actually saw this color, this print for the first time last week in real life. I was at Costco and one of the people in front of me had the hitch um, in this. And I, I really wanted to say something, but I... Because like I, you know, I see a lug nut or I see someone with a lug. I want to say something. I was just so tired that day. I had like 
zero ability to actually interact with anyone and i was like so sad you know like i'm seeing i would love to ask what the hitch is like how she likes it um i loved i and it was it was exactly this color it was the berry and so i kind of saw it about seven feet away from me and i'm like oh i want to get a closer look but i just didn't have the energy to be f pleasant and friendly <laughs> And so I just let it go. So unfortunately, so if that was you, whoever that might have been, I'm very sorry I missed a chance to meet you. I just had no energy that day. And I knew that I was just going to come off as like just a rude jerk because I knew that I had zero social ability that day. So anyway, so there we go. Uh, let's just look at these pictures here. So there, oh, I love that yellow. I think it's so cute. So there's your charm bar in action. And okay. <laughs> she's having a party uh, a flamingo party as it turns out very cute i definitely want that color oh my gosh i love that color okay so let's move on so this is the gingham black there isn't one so far that i hate i would honestly if i could i would probably buy one in every color i just don't know where to put them these are not easily storable if you will um the problem with these because of the plastic if they if they if you fold them for too long and you put something kind of heavy on them eventually where the folds are and where the bends are they will eventually break and crack uh if you keep them nice and straight and smooth they're fine um but if you keep them like really bent for a long time eventually that will sort of like let's say there's like a fold there and you put it down and you put something on top of it eventually if you like open it and close it open it and close it it will actually break that down um and i just and i know that because i have one that that that's happened to um so and i can't imagine that the plastic on this is better than the plastic that i had from whatever four three years ago four years ago so anyways that being said um i use this to store other bags in so like when they're not in use like when they're out of season i will store other bags inside of it so i can see um where all my little bags are so like all my little accessories like not little accessories like if i have smaller bags or you know things like uh eco shoppers or my huggies um insulated pouches la 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 all those kinds of things i'll put them in here and they stand up really well in my cupboard and it's a bag that I know I like I'll, I'll find it when I'm done and I can see all the all, all the contents so these make great storage bags as well so when they're not in use store your lugs in them they're perfect um so that's why I'm like I would love to get every single color the problem is I am running out of space to put all of my amazing lugs um and because I can't store these flat uh, there's really, I'm, I, I can't have an unlimited number of these, but one day I might still, because I do love them. I think they're so cute. I think the gingham goes with anything and I think they'd be great in the fall. They'd be great in the summer. They'd be great in the spring. I wish there was like a sort of a more winter color. Um, I don't know if that blue, that gingham is or not. I think these are more like summer, spring, uh, autumn kind of thing, but anyway. All right. So that's, so let's see the interior. Yeah. So it's, I guess they're all the same. They're all that, that coral, uh, that coral, that, uh, clover interior. Uh, okay. So this one I think is my new fave. I don't know why I'm solely, I'm totally into yellow suddenly. I never used to be, um, until I met Lug. <laughs> now I like love yellow. I don't know what happened to me. I am not a yellow person, but suddenly I am. And I am adoring, what is that? Mustard? Sorry, gingham mustard. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not gingham yellow, gingham mustard. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore this. I, I want this so hard. Oh, anyway, okay. Um, and then the gingham navy. Love it. I want every single color. There is not one here that I wouldn't, I wouldn't take. I probably wouldn't use the berry one very often because I don't have a lot of pink things. I don't wear a lot of pink. I'm not a pink person generally, but the other four colors, love them. I, I have, I can, I can definitely see myself using these. And then the Gingham Evergreen. Love it. I, I See, this looks more tealy green to me as opposed to like evergreen, like, like a forest green. Like if this was a forest green, maybe this would be cool for like Christmas. But to me, that looks more tealy um then forest so i don't know i guess i have to see that in real life maybe in real life it'll look more green like foresty green and maybe this will be perfect for christmas um okay so anyway i would buy all of them 
Um, I wish, don't you wish like Lug had a, like a wish list? Like, you know how there are all these uh, other websites that you can like put things in your wish list and then at Christmas time, your birthday and someone goes, what do you want? You just go, here's, here's the link to my wish list. Um, this would be on my wish list. Anything here, I'd be like, and like, just get me any one of these. I'll be happy. Um, yeah, the whole, the whole bag, all colors are on my wish list. So there we go. All right, let's read what it has to say. Experience the joy of organized, organized? There's nothing organized here. Come on, let's be real. It's just a bag, guys. Experience the joy of organized spontaneity with the peekaboo clear view tote. Um, that is the one thing this bag does not have is organization. <laughs> it's, it's just a tote. Um, designed for the modern explorer, this bag features non-slip hand, non-slip tote handles that provide comfort while you venture into the unknown. With its, they're getting really excited about this for no reason. <laughs> they're not selling it properly. With its clear view interior, interior, you'll never have to dig through your belongings again, making it a breeze to locate your essentials in an instant. That is true. Uh, so grab a peekaboo clear view tote bag, embrace the adventure, and let your organized spirit shine through. Okay, they've used the word organized twice, and there's literally zero organization in this bag, other than the fact that it's a bag. Um, and I guess one can be organized if you have other things in a, just a tote bag. So what they should have talked about is the fact that the whole thing is wipeable, that you can put anything in there and it'll be wipeable. You can use it for picnics. You can use it for grocery shopping. You can use it for uh, transporting like wet items. Like if you're going to the beach, they should have focused on that as opposed to talking about organization and your adventures and whatever. Um, because there's no organizational anything in this, and this doesn't scream travel spirit or adventure. This screams farmer's market. This screams lying on the beach for three hours reading a book. Um, that's not too adventurous. That's just relaxing and having fun. So um, I don't know who wrote this. That's weird. <laughs> anyway, um, like there's so many things you can talk about with this, and I don't know if they talked about the plastic on the bottom. Mine did. I don't know if they put that on the bottom of this. They should have if they didn't. They should have, um, and I imagine they did because all the other ones, I think, I've always had the plastic on the bottom. Um, so they should have talked about that as well. Like, you know, the easily cleanable, whatever. You can, you know, carry this anywhere you want without being worried that something's going to happen to your bag. All right, so measurements. I have to assume it's the same as the other ones. Now, I don't remember how big mine is. Uh, 18 and a half inches wide seems about right. And they're talking, just so you know, at the top. So it tapers down, so it's narrower at the bottom. So that's 18 inches is up at the top there. Um, and then I wish they would actually give you measurements for both. I wish they would give you the top measurement and the bottom measurement, but they never do. Um, 13 inches high. That sounds about right to me as well. And then seven and a half inches deep. That's also sounds about right. Um, okay. And then the shoulder strap is 11 and a half inches drop, which is perfect. Um, and it does really work quite well. Even if you've got a big coat on, that bag actually does carry quite well still. Um, and the grips are great. Okay, so features. <laughs> uh, not a whole lot going on. So um, let's see here. So the lug charm bar, of course, non-slip tote handles, which we saw, uh, clear view exterior, <laughs> uh, wipeable bottom. Okay, so it does have plastic on the bottom. Uh, and then the interior, <laughs> just spacious main compartment, double magnetic closure at the top. Perfect. So they really haven't changed it much. Uh, it pretty much is the exact same bag. Now I'm just wondering, yep, there is a video. Again, I mean, hey, I, I don't mind a video because it gives you a little bit of a size reference, but it is what it is, guys. <laughs> There are some bags you really need to explain. Uh, you need to really sort of show off all the different features. This is not one of them. But man, is that ever cute. And that looks great with her dress. Yeah, this is a great beach bag. Oh my gosh, that towel works perfectly in there. Yeah, she's talking about the wipeableness. I love it. Showing off the magnets. Very good. Yep. Okay. It is what it is. I love this bag. Like I said, I can get any of them. I would be, yeah, I would be happy to receive any of 
please. Um, I would love for there to be an amazing deal on Lug Live one day for these to go at like, I don't know, like 30 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, if they ever come down to 25, I'm buying all of them. I will have to find a space for them <laughs> at $25. $30, I would probably get at least two or three because I love this bag so much. Um, and you know what? I don't know if this is a bag that you can take into certain venues. I know there are some places that you can only have clear view bags. Now, usually I think those kinds of places want you to also have a smaller bag. But for those of you who do need to go to places where clear view bags are a thing, let me know if this is a bag that you could take to certain venues and certain events. Um, I know that like, for example, if I were to go to like trade shows, um, or like, you know, I, I don't know if you guys have them in the States. We have like craft shows here. Um, and obviously you guys have craft shows there, but we have these like sort of craft shows and like almost like flea market type things where the artisans sell their product and they often will give it to you in a clear plastic bag because they want you to walk around and show off the fact that you've bought something from them and they want other people to go, wow, where did you get that? So very often when I go to these sort of craft shows and sales, um, they'll give me their products in clear bags. Um, and the, the whole point is they want other people to see it as you're walking around. So you're walking around the show advertising for them. But I never want to get plastic bags, especially these days. I'm trying to avoid plastic bags as much as I can. So this is one of those bags where I feel like if I took it to like a trade show or a craft show or something like that, and I'm, and they're like trying to give it to me in a plastic bag, I go, no, 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 look what I have. I will still be able to walk around, show off your amazing craft or your product that you have, you know, proudly made, but I don't need a plastic bag because I already have one. So there we go. So that would be another use for this bag as well. If you are someone who likes to go to those kinds of shows. Um, anyway, so that's another thing I'm just thinking about right now as well. So there we go. That is my first kind of my first impression video of the Peekaboo Clearview Tote. Let me know if you're getting one or if you have one or if you, like I said, if you happen to know of whether or not this would be an appropriate size and shape of a bag to take into certain venues for the ones that really require a clear view. Um, I would love to know what kind of venues allow you to take this large bag in. Because to me, like if I was going to like an outdoor concert or something like that, I don't think a coupe is enough. I would want this because I would want some beverages. I want a blanket, maybe to lay down on the ground, sunscreen, a hat. Um, anyway, so there we go. That's, that's it. So thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean a great deal to me as it really helps with the algorithm in getting this video and channel seen. It also helps if you subscribe to the channel or buy me a coffee. You can find out more about that in the description below. And as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video.